there tonight. Annabelle? Hi, Michelle and Mark. I'll actually show you. We've seen at least about a dozen rats here. You can see them out here right now tonight. And we spoke with one family who's telling us this years long problem has gotten out of hand. Several rats sit and crawl on this rooftop. One family in this neighborhood describes it as an infestation that's gone on for two years. You'll see three, four at a time, upwards of 15 to 20, 25 at a time running on their roof. Jerry says they're coming onto his property from his next door neighbors. I can hear him at night jiggling all the fences, clawing at the side of my house. I've had to have my property uh, professionally screened and rescreened. Um, and exterminated multiple times. He and his family now try to stay indoors and say they're mostly concerned for their children. We avoid having any functions over our house anymore. We don't have birthday parties in the backyard. We just, you know, we live inside the house, out front of the house um, during the day, and that's it. Nobody wants to go outside at night because you know what's out there. Tonight we spoke with a woman who identified herself as a homeowner. Lisa tells us the problem is not exclusive to her property or neighborhood. I think in part, because it's the wash that runs behind most of our houses. I think it's also in part possibly because of, you know, the summer and the drought, the hot summer. The neighborhood has an issue and always has. There is absolutely no proof that any rat problem whatsoever originated from this property at all. She says they've trimmed trees and cleared brush and want to deal with the rodents in a humane way. As a Christian, not to necessarily kill and put out poison where it's a slow, torturous death if there are possibly other humane means to rectify the issue or the, the situation. Now, Lisa tells us she's tried to talk with Jerry about the rats on his property, but Jerry tells us he's tried to talk with Lisa for several years and he's hoping city and or county officials will get involved. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.